Um, I'm feeling good. Um, I've got a few practices under my belt now and um, just trying to get back in shape, get my touch back and everything. Um, I won't be playing tonight, but hopefully I can get in um, on Sunday and get some minutes. Uh, Carolyn Peck. Lauren, what have you been able to do while you've been out? Um, I, I've been able to pretty much do everything um, except actually get up and down a basketball court and, you know, play some pickup, play, do a little scrimmaging, that kind of thing. Um, so I've been trying to run, trying to stay in shape, but nothing really compares to actually getting up and down the court. Thank you. Uh, Pat Boylan. Hi, Lauren. Can you give us an idea of how much of getting you up to speed is the physical side of all of this, having a little bit of a delayed start for you, and how much of it is um, just trying to get um, used to the playbook, uh, customized to how Coach Stanley runs things? Yeah, I think um, getting used to the plays is the biggest thing for me, um, just because the last four years I've ran – some completely different stuff. And um, I kind of have that, you know, in my brain right now. And I got to kind of switch gears and learn all the new plays, the new defenses, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be a big part of all of it. And then um, the physicality, the speed of the game, that's going to be a, another big part for me. Um, I mean, I'm playing against grown women now, you know, the best of the best. So um, it's definitely going to be hard, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Where do you feel like you are from a conditioning standpoint? Are you close to where you want to be for game action? Um, I'm definitely getting there. Um, I think it's still going to take a while. And that's a part of that is going to be actually getting in the games, even if I'm not 100% of where I want to be. Um, a lot of it is just going to be getting up and down the court again, getting a few minutes here and there, trying to get my win back. You and Kim Mulkey have both alluded to the fact that Baylor didn't really ask you to shoot many threes, but that you can do it. As you've watched these first couple of games, uh, pretty much everybody but Tierra is taking them. What are your thoughts on your potential um, role as it relates to expanding your game to the three-point line? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've been working on my three-point shot, and Coach Stanley always tells us that if you're open, take the shot. I'm not going to yell at you for taking a shot. Thanks, Pat. Um, taking a look here. Lauren, I'll ask you while we're waiting for another one to come in. What's, uh, what's life in the bubble been like and how, uh, how are the roommates? Um, it's been good. My roommates are Stephanie and Kathleen. So, um, I mean, it's been good. They're really nice. Um, and I've just really enjoyed getting to know every, all of my teammates and everything. Um, just because we haven't gotten to be around each other that much. So getting to know everybody and, Life in the bubble, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, ben Rosoff. Hi, Lauren. I uh, just wanted to know so far what you've seen, what you've, what you've thought about what you've seen from the team so far. Obviously, last weekend was tough against Washington, but then they rebounded pretty well against LA. Just wondering what you gauged so far from the first two games. Uh, I think we have a lot of really good potential. I think you kind of saw that in our last game that we played. Things kind of started to click. Um, we got some good looks off offensively, played some good defense. Um, so I think each game we're going to get better and better. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Michelle Vopel. Hey, Lauren. Um, I guess two questions. Uh, I know you probably had a lot of time, obviously, with Tierra, but I think a lot of us have been looking forward to the two of you and, and maybe the way that that would be like playing with Kalani. And I just wonder if you have any thoughts on that. And also, just in terms of managing diabetes, um, you know, have you talked a lot to, I know the Baylor and you guys had such a great understanding with the athletic trainers and stuff. Have you talked a lot to Indiana about that? And um, do you have everything you need there or do you just get things delivered there through the course of the season? Um, so to answer the first question, I'm, I'm really excited to play with T. Um, I think we're going to be able to develop some chemistry out on the court and um, maybe get the high-low game working a little bit. Um, and then second question, um, I have to teach a lot, um, teach the trainers, teach the coaches, um, because they've most likely they've never dealt with a type one diabetic before. Um, so it's a lot of them asking questions, me teaching, um, and I do have all of my supplies here in the bubble. Um, I was able to pack everything up in a suitcase and bring it all here. 
you know, I know you said when I talked to you the other night just about, you know, getting touch back. Um, is that just a, is that just sort of a, 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 a you know, reps type of thing? You know, the, the more you do it, you're, you're going to feel more like yourself in terms of shooting the basketball? Yeah, for sure. Um, I got to put some extra time outside of practice in the gym, just getting a bunch of shots up, doing things like the mic and drill just to get my touch back around the room. And if I could just ask one other question, you know, Coach Stanley, I think, has worked with every great post player for the last, honestly, like the last 50 years, not to say, she, well, 40 years, how about that? I mean, going back to the Ann Donovans of the world, what's it like to, to you know, just have her as a coach? Because obviously you, you played for a coach uh, with Kim who had an extensive history as well in women's basketball. Um, I think it's going to be really good for me. Uh, like you said, she's worked with some of the greatest post players out there. So I think I'm going to be able to learn a lot from her. And I think we're going to have a good relationship. Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Um, Carolyn, you have another one? In talking about Marianne Stanley and through your time before you got to um, Bradenton to now, what has been the communication between the two of you? Um, just a lot of phone calls talking about um, how I'm doing. Uh, that was a lot of the phone calls that she was just checking in on me, making sure I was doing okay, that kind of thing. And um, we had a couple calls about the playbook, just any questions that I had um, going over those um, and just some of her expectations for me. Uh, Re Reggie Edwards. Lauren, this, this team obviously has three new faces on the team with you, Julie, and Kathleen. Now that you've been down in the wobble, what has the relationship been like with between the three of you and that, and that dynamic? And how do you think that will translate onto the court when the three of you are finally able to all be able to play? Um, we, I think we all have a good relationship. I think I spent more time um, with Kathleen more than Julie just because she's my roommate. Um, but they're both really nice, really talented. Um, and I think we're all going to learn as we go and get better as we go. Uh, Ron Tolan. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're missing the beautiful Texas weather today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lauren, quick question. Um, the difference between Marianne and Kim, uh, as far as coaching, uh, Kim called you the, one of the greatest, if not the greatest player she's ever coached. Hard on her players, rightly so. But can you give us kind of an idea of the difference between Marianne and Kim? Um, I think Kim knows how to get under your skin. And <laughs> just like push you to that limit. She knows your limit. So she knows how much to push you. Um, getting on you in that way. And I think Kim is a lot more sarcastic um, than Coach Stanley is. Um, Coach Stanley is, you know, get to the point, get things done. Um, she'll joke around with you and stuff off the court, but on the court, she's business. Uh, let's see here. Ben, do you have another one? Ben Rosoff? No, I'm good, Ryan. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Carolyn, I see your hands up too. Another one. No, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Anything for uh, Sue Favor? You want to go ahead? Hey, hi, Lauren. Um, just a quick question for you. You, this isn't. I mean, you, you've uh, dealt with diabetes issues before. You've overcome many injuries. Where does your toughness come from? And what, you know, there you could have, you know, opted out this season yourself. Um, where does your toughness come from and what makes you want to be there so much this season right now? Uh, I think my toughness comes from having diabetes the past 15 years of my life. Um, I've had to overcome a lot of different obstacles and I, I mean, I love the game of basketball and I wanted to play this season. So um, I wanted to get the experience as a rookie. I wanted to see where I'm at as far as talent wise, that kind of thing. So um, nothing was going to stop me from playing this season. That's awesome. And then just one more question. Where, um, where do you see yourself fitting into this team as far as maybe what your role might be? I know you're obviously a rookie, but you've got another great big to work with. Yeah, I think um, defensively, um, I think that's going to be my biggest role um, is to help on the defensive end. And then offensively, 
whatever they need from me, um, whether that's, you know, high, low passing inside, whether that's scoring from the perimeter, scoring inside, rebounding, whatever it is, I'm willing to do it. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Sue. Uh, Olivia Ray. Hey, Warren. Uh, welcome, one. Uh, two, I want to know what boxes need to be checked for you um, before you get on the floor on Sunday. What What's still holding you back, I guess, from tonight? And, and what are you looking for from yourself? Obviously, maybe conditioning or, or whatever that may be. Yeah, a lot of it is conditioning. Um, and I think the coaches just want to see me get up and down the court a little bit. We haven't been able to do much because we're kind of playing, you know, every other day. So they don't want, she doesn't want to kill the players who are playing um, in practice. So we haven't been able to get up and down much. So I'm doing some extra stuff on the side where they're going to be able to see me get up and down, make cuts, that kind of thing. And um, from my standpoint, it's just going to be about getting back in shape. Um, I can learn plays pretty quickly as long as I can get some reps and run through them. Um, so that's not the biggest thing for me. It's just getting back in shape, getting my touch back.